my oh lord oh oh my god being broke is so painful you know it hurts you wake up you check your balance and it's 0, 0. .0. and it's like so frustrating you don't get upset but there's nothing you can do about it you know there's nothing <laughs> Welcome back YouTube. Um, welcome to my channel. I feel like it's been so long ever since I posted a sit down. You know, I've been running around with comedy, um, Madame Felicia, Jennifer Tixon Onza, and so many other comedies. My script writer is just blowing the roof off my platforms. And I, it's it's just she's just amazing. And Everything she's doing is like putting in all the magic, all the what, and I'm just like bringing it to life together with the crew, my friends, and yeah. So I hope you guys are enjoying this series, uh, Madame Felicia, so far here on Facebook, and I hope you guys have already watched episode one of Jennifer Takes on Unza on Facebook. It's also really, it's doing pretty well actually. I couldn't even boost it because they were like. There is no need to boost this post. It's already getting enough engagement. And I was like, whoa, Zambia, doing this for me. <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk about my pet peeve. Mm, how do you say that with? <laughs> pet peeves. Pet peeves. You know, scratch that, whatever. I'm going to talk about things that people do. Things that are so annoying. You know? No. One, my first one is cast useless customer care service okay you know one thing let me explain to you guys one time one time i went to a certain mall in lusaka i'm not going to say the name of the mall because it might be like demarketizing it is that correct word anyway whatever it might be demarketizing it but uh, I'm, i was there with my cousin so we were about to go for some concert in lusaka and we went to the mall. Anyway, you know what? Whatever. It was Mandayu. We went to Mandayu. So, we arrived there. And we, we went there using an Orlando. <laughs> an Orlando. And when we got there, we parked at the top, uh, like, the top floor. Top garage floor. Something like that. I care. I know, I know. If you've been to Mandayu, you know what I mean. It's a two-story garage on top. Yeah. So we parked there. I was the first one to get out of the car and my cousin remained behind to, you know, <laughs> handle the bill. <laughs> Who pays? Yeah. So when we were I was walking into the mall, my cousin was right behind me. My mask was like on me the whole time. So um we got some unnecessary unnecessary attention because we found, you know, the Quest Temple family there and people like made a bit of some noise and yeah, you know. Um, when my cousin's trying to catch up with me, they dr I don't know whether the guard there thought as if we are trying to like bring confusion or something like that, or they I don't know. They thought maybe those are people we know. So when we saw my cousin and my cousin's mask wasn't like on, oh, it was like hanging from here, and just like, what's your problem? What's your problem? <laughs> so I cannot see everyone else is doing it. He like tried shouting at him, and yo, he is a customer. In fact, I wasn't even the customer. I was just being taken, carried, you know. But him, him, that's what the money was. I wasn't, I wasn't even a customer. I was just there. I was a spectator, you know, baggage. You know, I was like a suitcase. He was just dragging me around everywhere. So we had to wait for his friends. We just couldn't go like the two of us. He told me, come with me. And then we're going to Mandayo, wait for my friends from there. So we had to leave home early. Then he was like, no, wait, um... What do you call this? Dinner, supper, car. But it was that meal that you eat at night, whatever you guys call it at your place, so it's supper, dinner, 16, whatever. Like, okay, <laughs> we'll eat it from Monday. We're going to Monday. We first went by game stores. We went by game stores, like, you know, past time. And we want to check out the prices for, you know, GoPros and stuff. Vlogging is becoming a really good deal these days. And I really want to take you guys with me wherever I go. Okay, so, um. <laughs> Oh my god, we entered game when we were done. We're not actually leaving, we decided to get chocolate. Okay, we got chocolate. Then we went to the jewelry store, like jewelry teal. Yeah, hmm. it was late, guys. People were tired, the workers were tired. You could actually see it in the eyes of the tired. They had something to knock off. So I went to the jewelry, like teal. Then 
you know, went there for fun. We went to the jewelry too. Then we, we <laughs> it was like, we started arguing, just like started arguing. I was telling him, these are real diamonds. And he was like, no, this can't be real diamonds. I mean, real diamonds in this glass and even looks like you and stuff like that. So like, you know what? Let's ask the cashier. So I asked the cashier. Mami. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mami, these diamonds, are they real diamonds? First, she pretended as if she didn't hear us. And I, you know, I like such people. I like people who do such. You know, when you pretend you haven't heard me. When you pretend you haven't heard me. That's when I will repeat my question. If you if you understand me, I will repeat my question. And this time I'll make sure I'm looking into your eyes so you can understand. My, are these real diamonds? She looked at us, she looked away. I went closer. I went to stand in front of her now. Mommy, yeah, we said that these real diamonds. <laughs> Since I love you. Then she was like, so we're going to follow the we're going to follow in China. That's how like we both kept quiet. And we're like, I'm trying to process. What this woman just said to me, she was like, Some chimutu chako, who gun is a chad. I'm like, Oh, oh my god, relax. We know you're tired. We just want to know. I so, said, My cousin just like, Okay, you know what? Let's just go. Um, my next one, apart from shitty customer care service, um, calling people or texting me first to ask me what's up. Yo. You called me, Are you, and and you know that sometimes when you leave your phone, your phone is charging, and then you're in your bath, you're in the bathroom. I don't know that maybe you're unbraiding your hair, you're washing your face, you're washing your hair, you're peeing, or you're you putting one to get a bath. Then you you hear a phone call. Then 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 yeah, you rush, you come, find a missed call, you call back. Firstly, the person didn't pick up within two minutes. You call them twice, so they don't pick up within two minutes. So you wait for a bit. Two minutes is up. You call them again. They answer. Mm, of course, you what's up? I was calling. You called me. You call, you, you called me. And, and, you, and you expect me to tell you what's up. You know? And so you have Zola de la Vera on my face. You just know some of us. Skincare routine now is on. It's, it's now on. I have Zola de la Vera on my face. And you're telling me what's you're asking me what's up. I should be asking you what's up. You're, you're slowing down the process. I'm preparing to go to university. You know, we're supposed to look peng. Peng. When someone is talking to you and you have and you just have to keep on taking off your head so that you can pay attention to them. And so you're listening to JE for you. You listen to Kali, you're listening to any whoever. Some of you even listen to Chandana K in headsets, yeah. Yeah, listen, Chandana K, whatever. Then someone is like, yo, do you remember? You laugh, you laugh, you laugh, like, put back your headset. Yo. And, and, and you know, you, you, you can't really react because it will look so, so what? So, so immature, so rude. I, 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 I don't know how I can explain it, but it just looks so bad on your part. You just look like a bad person. One-sided friendships. These are one. These are things that I really hate. And you know, one-sided friendships are like one of the most toxic things. You know, one-sided friendships can be more toxic than relationships. Actually, um, every time it's you who's calling, every time it's you who's checking up. And you know, toxic people are addictive. To I mean, that's how you call them toxic people. Even drugs are quite toxic. I mean, come on, toxic people are addictive. You have a toxic friend. You know they're bad. You know. But you just... You being with them just makes you feel... You know? I think, I think toxic people are like drugs. Because I think that's how people who are addicted to drugs feel. You know, you know it's bad, but when you're with it, when you're using it, it just makes you feel... It makes you escape. So, one side of friendships are really irritating. Every time it's you calling, when you don't call, they ask you, hey, you hate me, why can't you text me? But you're online, but you're both online, why can't you text me first? Hamboza. <coughs> number, mm, number three. Yeah, whatever. Next, next line. I hate people who are up in post business. I dye my hair, I cut my hair, I braid my hair. Then you said, you said, you said, you said, Pontalin. You start pointing as if we stay in the same house. <laughs> One, my parents don't know you. Two, I don't know your parents. We're not even family members. 
Then you're just there, you know, giving your opinion. Like, like I'm just like, oh, yo, I'm asking for some opinion. And then you're like, you know, okay, here, here you go. Here you go. You said some of my opinion. You can, you can like have it. Yeah. And then, okay, thank you for your opinion about my hair. I, I really cherish it. <laughs> I never asked for your opinion. Keep your opinion. Shove it down your throat. Something else that I hate, guys. Oh, something else that like is really irritating. People who call before seven hours. You're calling me at six hours to ask about, you know, you call me at six hours, you, I answer with my like drowsy voice. Then you ask me, are you sleeping? Then I'm like, yes. Then I'm like, oh, okay. What's for today? I've told you I'm sleeping. That's what's for today at the moment. My head isn't even functioning properly. And you're already asking me, what's for today? Cut the call. When I tell you I'm sleeping, cut the call. Tell me, okay, no, Chris, I'll call you back. Or oh, you should call me back when you are awake. Not that what's for today. It's six hours. Who starts a day at six hours? <laughs> Besides, I've been reading a book called The 5 a.m. Club. It's really good. I think we should all like start waking up at 05. Your life will be better. <laughs> Number moving on, moving on to the next person. Um, and the next thing that's so irritating. Um you know, there's those people who are, they're for emotional bait. Anything, it just has to be emotional. It just has to be about them, no, me, this. For every decision that you make, they try to divest it into them, you know? It just makes, it looks as if you're always a bad person. And also, people who gaslight you. Stay away from people who gaslight you, please. Please. People who gaslight you are so irritating. You're talking about something serious. They turn it to them, you know? Oh, you know me, this what happens. And you're just there you're in the middle of pouring your heart out. Then someone is just, you know what happened to me? Or oh, just to add on to that, you know, Brenda, I, I really think this is what happened. Brenda, it's not, it's, it's about you. It's not about her, you know? And you're talking to someone. Then they try to make it look as if you didn't, you don't remember it well, you didn't remember it well, you're talking to them, they try to make it look as if you overreacted, instead of them actually understanding. Keep on, people keep on following and then following on Instagram. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. I don't want to keep on getting the same notifications from you. I'm tired. Baka we block you. Baka we block you. That's when you dash her. Because there's no, you can keep on and following. You follow me today and follow me. You follow me tomorrow and follow me. Just, you know, it becomes so annoying. I wish Instagram can do something about that. Because it's, it's so annoying. Then you keep on getting some notification from the same person. And, she, and she, <laughs> Wow, I've spoken a lot so far. Okay, something else that I hate that people like doing is when people tell you how to live your life. Have you ever met someone who, who comes into your, who wants to control you? Someone wants to play with your mind, you know, they, they're trying to make you look as if you're not living your life accordingly. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I don't mean, um, how can I explain this without me sound, making it sound very wrong? There are people who, who have your life planned out, you know? <laughs> I'm not talking about, you know, listen to your pastors, listen to your prophets. Yes, those ones can listen to. But there are those people who... They have your life planned out. They put it on a graph, you know. Today, you should do this. Tomorrow, that, you know. Graph, statistics, and stuff. So, they put you on a graph. They put you on a timetable. They want your life to move in their real, real line. Let them live a little. Let them make their own mistakes. Let them realize. That's how people grow. Jeez, is that so hard? Anyway, I've got so many more things that are so irritating to me but i will like keep them to myself one thing that irritates me the most is being broke being broke is so bad guys it's it it hurts actually to be broke <sighs> oh my god i think i think i need a minute and tissue oh my oh lord being broke is so painful you know, it hurts. You wake up, you check your balance and it's 0.0. .0 and it's like so frustrating. You don't get upset, but there's nothing you can do about it, you know. There's nothing. Anyway, 
I'm coming to the end of my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to like, share this video with everyone on your contact list. Let them know. And if you also hate something that, you know, if you also have a pet, whatever, comment it. Pet peeve, pet peeve, whatever. I didn't search Google, guys, to find out the pronunciation. So if the pronunciation is wrong, please bear with me.